Hello friends, welcome back to all about structural analysis and design. So in this particular video, we will be discussing one of the important aspect of civil engineering that is the detailed estimate of a residential building. Many of the universities and colleges will have this question and it will be for the maximum marks in your question paper. Around 50 to 60 percent will consist of this particular question. So what are the methods, different methods to estimate a building? So usually there are two methods. Uh, the first one is a long wall short wall method and the second one is center line method. So today we will be discussing the center line method which is uh, frequently used in the estimation of a building. So we will be adopting center line method and uh, we will be finding out almost all the quantities which will be coming into your examination around uh, 11 to 12 quantities are there. So each and every quantity will be discussed in detail. So we will be dividing this particular problem into three parts. So the today's video will be the first part and again two more parts will be continuing with this particular problem. The second part will be entirely with respect to the center line. We have to calculate the quantities and the last part will be the calculation of quantities which will not require center line. Okay, the same problem will be having all the different quantities. I have divided this problem into three parts because it will consume lot of time if we do at a stretch. So in this video, I will be showing you how to find out the center lines for main wall and partition wall and uh, how to find out the junctions. So I have selected this particular problem where you will be having main wall as well as partition wall. So in your examination, you may get the problem entirely with main wall. If not, so this type of problem you will be getting and uh, this is the problem where you will be having a lot of confusion. So this is a plan of a residential building. Okay. For a schedule of opening and the uh, sections, I will come in the next lectures. So in this particular lecture, these things are not required. Schedule of opening and the section of 30 centimeter wall that is main wall and 20 centimeter wall partition wall is not required in this particular video. So I'll be coming up with the second part of this problem in the next lecture. So what you have to do, you have to just look out this particular plan and you have to calculate the center line for main wall and partition wall. So how to identify main wall and partition wall? So in your problem, so they will mention which wall is partition wall. For example, in this particular problem, 20 centimeter wall is considered as partition wall and 30 centimeter is considered as main wall. So they have mentioned clearly here 0 0.20 meter. So all the dimensions which they give is in uh, for this problem is in meters. So 0 0.20. So this wall again, they have mentioned this particular wall. So again, this uh, wall, they have mentioned 0 0.20 meter wall and this the third wall that is 0 0.20 meter wall. So these three walls, one, two, three. So in this entire plan, these three walls are partition walls, remaining are main walls. So you can make out with this uh, eyes. So all the remaining walls are thicker in size, whereas only these three walls are thin in size compared to this main walls. So this is the first thing you have to identify, which are the main walls and partition walls as soon as you get the question. So the next thing is the calculation of center line for main wall and partition wall. Center line why we call it as because center to center distance between the walls. For example, this is entire hall of size 7.8 meters into 4 meters. So this entire wall is measuring 7.8 into 4 meters. Okay. So you have to find out center to center distance of this horizontal distance. So what you can do is half width you have to take of this wall. So main wall is 0 0.3 meters. So half width is so I'll write down here for example. Okay, I'll be showing so 0 0.15. So this half the distance of this wall is 0 0.15 plus the entire 7.8 meters. This is into in dimensions. So whatever dimensions they have given in the problem is into in into in means from this inner wall to this inner wall. So this uh, 0 0.3 they have not considered. So 0 0.15 half the distance of this wall. 
then into in dimensions of this particular hall that is 7.8 meters plus this again half distance of this wall that is 0.15 so this will be the center line of this particular room okay 0.15 plus 7.8 plus 0.15 which is nothing but 8.1 meters so this is your center line for this particular hall so like this way for all the uh, walls you have to find out the center line and i have discussed there are three partition walls so you have to not include the center line for the main walls of these three walls because it is 0.2 meters and it is considered as partition wall so separately the center line of these three walls you have to calculate and separately for all the remaining main walls you have to calculate the center line so for simplicity what you have to do you have to draw a line diagram of this particular plan so this will be your center line diagram or simple line diagram of the plan so the given plan was like this so we have drawn only one line and we have drawn a plan that is known as line diagram or center line diagram and now you have to calculate the center line for example i have shown you what will be the center line for that particular hall 0.15 plus 7.8 plus 0.15 so that was 8.1 meters for that particular wall so that particular wall means this only one room will be having four walls so you have to calculate four different times your center line so this will be your one center line of this hall so second will be this third this vertical and last will be this vertical wall so from that that 8.1 was this wall center to center distance similarly same will be the distance for that particular hall uh, horizontal line that is 8.1 meters now vertical go vertically okay so this is again now you should not get confused okay in this particular line diagram i have uh, written 7.6 meters so 7.6 meters is uh, not the distance of this because this is only 4 meter wall okay because there are many walls what i have done is for simplicity from here to here entire thing is 0.3 meter wall main wall okay from here entire thing is again 0.3 meter wall so what i have done so from here to here combined wall i have taken don't get confused instead of taking 0.15 plus 4 0.15 and again separately 0.15 30.15 what i have done is 0.15 okay plus 4 plus 0 0.3 plus 3 and plus 0.15 from here i have gone 0.15 half the distance of this plus 4 plus 0.3 so this entire 0.3 wall will come then plus 3 then plus 0.15 half the distance of that particular wall like this way the total distance of center line i have got from here to here and that is nothing but your 7.6 So this 7.6 meter so entire thing from here to here i have calculated that is 7.6 so, and again this will remain same 0.15 plus 3 plus 0.2 you have to remember this you have to take 0.2 you are finding out the center line for this wall okay don't get confused that again why we have taken 0.2 even though the partition wall will not come in between so we are finding out the center line for this particular top wall so you have to come 0.15 this kitchen distance 3 meter 0 0.2 plus 2.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 2.2 plus 0 0.15 so like this entirely again you will be getting 8.1 the center line for the top wall so there will be total 8.1 meters three wall first one second one and third one 7.6 so again the distance will remain same from here to here okay so i have written directly 7.6 so now the remaining thing is for these particular two rooms so this will be 0 0.15 plus 3.5 plus 0 0.15 so i have written here 3.8 for this room for this vertical wall similarly 0 0.15 plus 4 
plus 0 0.15 that will become 4.3 so now similarly again this will remain 3.8 0 0.15 3 uh, 3.5 plus 0 0.15 3.8 and the last will be this room that is 2 0 0.15 plus 2.5 plus 0 0.15 2.8 this 2.8 and for this wall 0 0.15 plus 2.5 plus 0 0.15 so this will be your first step to calculate the center to center distance of your main walls so at the beginning we have discussed there are three partition walls which is of 0 0.2 meters so now you have to find out the length of that particular partition wall so partition walls are these three one two three and i have mentioned here uh, you can see the color change so for uh, main walls i have given uh, the blue lines blue color and the partition walls i have mentioned here with black line so these three lines you have to calculate now so this will be 0 0.15 plus 3 plus 0 0.15 so this total distance from here to here will be 3.3 .3. similarly 0 0.15 3 0 0.15 3.3 .3. and now because this wall is 0 0.2 meters so half of 0 0.2 is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 plus 2.2 plus 0 0.15 so it becomes total 2.45 so like this way you have to be careful why I have taken 0 0.15 0 0.15 here is this wall was 0 0.3 meters this wall was 0 0.3 meters so 0 0.15 3 0.15 so nowhere this question of 0 0.2 came in this particular room uh, sorry for this particular wall now when you go to calculate this particular length of partition wall what we do is here it is 0 0.2 wall so half of the distance will become 0 0.1 plus 2.2 plus 0 0.15 because this is main wall so half the distance of this wall will become 0 0.15 0 0.1 plus 2.2 plus 0 0.15 that is 2.45 meters so like this way individual rooms you have to calculate the center lines when you get the uh, the common uh, walls where there are no offsets and all you can just calculate the total particular length of the wall just we have calculated how 7.6 you can go otherwise if you are getting confused then you can find out individually again with the walls okay so but for simplicity you can do wherever there are no offsets you can directly you can calculate the center line for that particular wall so the next task is to find out the junctions so there will be uh, typically three junctions main to main main to partition partition to partition the junction is nothing but where the one wall meets another wall so this wall is uh, is not considered as junction so this point is not considered as junction so this is considered as junction so these are the junctions you will be getting in your plan so again i have uh, drawn with the different figures so the rectangle will be main to main this circle will be main to partition and this triangle will be partition to partition so wherever you are seeing this uh, rectangular part so there, these are nothing but the main walls are meeting at the main walls so main to main junction so this was our partition wall so this partition wall is meeting with this main wall so it is considered as main to partition junction and here if you see this is also a partition wall and this is also a partition wall that's why it is considered as partition to partition junctions so in this particular plan i have taken all the three kinds of junctions that is main to main main to partition and partition to partition and there will be two sections for 20 centimeter wall and 30 centimeter wall so that's why this problem was going to take uh, the more time that's why i have divided this uh, particular lecture into three parts so i hope you have understood this so now let's uh, next part is to write down these uh, values and uh, get the answer for center line of main wall partition wall and number of junctions so now you can write down center line for main walls so this is the symbol for center line center line for 
mean was now what you can do you can uh, go back to this again center line uh, diagram you can write down all the values of main uh, center line of main walls i will start from here and i will go clockwise for finding out all the outer values and then i will come inner values so 3.8 7.6 8.1 7.6 2.8 2.8 4.3 so these first i will take so again you should not jumble up these values and write down the wrong values so first cover all the outer values of main walls then come 3.8 8.1 and 8.1 okay so like this way i will write down for center line of main walls so first i will go with uh, this 3.8 so 3.8 plus 7.6 plus 8.1 plus 7.6 plus 2.8 plus 2.8 plus 4.3 okay so i have finished all the outer values then i will come inside values plus 3.8 plus 8.1 plus 8.1 so this will give you 57 meters of main wall center line of main walls is 57 meters similar way you have to write down center line for partition walls that will be 3.3 plus 3.3 plus 2.45 center line for partition walls 3.3 plus 3.3 plus 2.45 so that will come around 9.05 meters so this will be your first step in this particular problem to calculate only center line for a main walls and partition walls now you have to write down the junctions so number of junctions Okay, so I have designated uh, this rectangle as main to main. So write down MM junctions. MM junctions total how many are there? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So total 6. So I will write down here in bracket this rectangular symbol main to main. Then main to partition main to partitions this circle one main to partition main to partition here okay so these are one two three four five so total five so i have designated as this symbol zero symbol and the own there is only one partition to partition junction that is i have designated as triangular shape so pp partition to partition it is one so I have designated this as triangle and without this you cannot proceed in this particular problem. So this is the basic step you have to find out before proceeding to calculate the quantities required for this particular building. So the next uh, part of this particular lecture will be to calculate how to calculate the quantities with the uh, help of these center lines and these junctions. So I hope uh, I have cleared how to uh, measure this center line for main walls partition walls and how to find out the number of junctions so stay tuned for the next video thank you friends